Good day, fellow investors. Warren Buffett's Berkshire letter to shareholders is out. Always so much to learn. And the earnings are also out. So I want to give you perhaps the biggest hidden lesson from Warren Buffett's shorter and shorter letter, but still extremely valuable. Then discuss the earnings pretty much stable by Berkshire. Just update on the valuation and show whether Berkshire is for you or not. Let's start. So when it comes to the letter, the key here to understand and also investing is that investing is about making many mistakes. However, as you make mistake by mistake, some of those are not mistakes and some of those have truly extraordinary economics. Those businesses, not those that die, of course, but those great businesses really lead to great returns. And I made this video, I'll put the link in the description below, how Buffett usually sells nine out of his 10 positions and only one, as he says in the letter, one every five years is something that he holds on to. The goal of investing is to buy, of course, pieces of wonderful businesses at wonderful prices. It's crucial to understand that stocks often trade at truly foolish prices, both high and low. Efficient markets exist only in textbooks. And that's the advantage we have over others and markets. A great example of how irrational markets can be is Facebook stock. So from the peak of 378 in 2021, in a little bit more than a year, it went down 76% only to rebound 89% since then in a few months. The business is pretty much the same, a little bit of a slowdown here and in high investments, but certainly not a 75% destruction of the business. Just to show here how in a short span of time, the market can have completely opposite opinions on values, business values, and create wonderful prices for those interested in acquiring those businesses. So the first message is that when investing, we are all going to be mostly wrong. We are going to analyze stock, invest, and make a lot of mistakes. But the positive is that just a few great ones, a few compounders make up for all those other mistakes. And especially in the comments here on YouTube, I often see that people, oh, you made a mistake here, you made a mistake here, mistake here. And I've made this video where I discuss 15 of my mistakes where I lost money. And that's the nature of business, 15 mistakes. But despite that, 15% per year is not bad. Of course, I have to narrow the mistakes down. And when it comes to Buffett, also, he made so-so investment decisions, but some great, some near disasters as US Air and Salomon, but some truly, truly great investments that made the huge difference. Perhaps most importantly is that Berkshire was acquiring Coca-Cola over seven years from 1988 to 1994 that paid 1.3 trillion. The dividend in 1994 was 75 million. Now is 704 million. So 60% of what Warren paid. And that's something that compound and the stock is also 20x. Similarly, American Express, 1995 completed, also similar returns there as Coca-Cola. But the lessons for investors is that the weeds, the mistakes wither away in insignificance as the flowers bloom and become a bigger and bigger part of one's portfolio. Over time, it just takes a few winners to work wonders. And yes, it helps to start early and live into your 90s. Focusing on those mistakes, Warren Buffett bought and sold IBM. So he saw that it doesn't work, it won't make wonders, but the key factor he is, is that he needs to own it, needs to test it, needs to see, okay, is this really something for me? And then have a seven year span of just acquiring, building. Uh, he was buying Apple for a few years. 
but by owning it, you really understand. And if it's not, in a year of owning it, you really understand, okay, this won't do wonders, let's pick something else. And also something hidden, but you see that owning the process, buying 10 stocks, selling nine, means that investing is a dynamic process and not a static fact. That's the key to understand. It is a dynamic process and not a static fact. Let me explain that on Apple. Warren Buffett was buying Apple the first quarter of 2016 and then he added to the position and then he practically stopped buying. But you have to understand the process there. Keep in mind 2016 first quarter when he started buying, that was the same quarter when Carl Icahn said that Apple is a clear sell because they don't know what China will do. So when you put in that perspective, it was a dynamic process of understanding what you're buying, what happens if, how that develops over time, how the factors change, and then you build out a decision on whether something is a hold for your portfolio that will make wonders like Apple did for Buffett or not. And people often ask me, Sven, can you give me a stock that will go 10x in 10 years or 20 years? It is a process. If that would be known now, then it wouldn't be priced so that it will go 10x, it would go up just 2x. So that's the market, but we have to understand the hidden sources, as Warren Buffett says, to understand investing. And in retrospect, it all seems easy. Warren Buffett, of course, he bought Coca-Cola, he bought this. He, I don't remember if was buying or not, was thinking about General Electric. He didn't, so that was an avoided mistake. And you never know, but you know you will make mistakes. You try to limit those mistakes, but you hope to, as a whole, do well. That's the secret sauce over time. And that's also what we do with our little demo YouTube portfolio. We follow for now, what's this, 14 stocks. This will be in the next video. So subscribe for that and click that like button if you enjoyed this. And by following this, my goal is to maybe give you one great buy at a wonderful price in five years. That's what also Warren Buffett explained is investing now in his letter. And that's what I want to give you here. Now on earnings valuation and one random, very interesting fact for this channel. Very, very simple with earnings, operating earnings, the worst quarter. So a little bit spending less recession sites or something like that. But still Berkshire makes approximately 30 billion plus the 8 billion in hidden earnings from Apple and earnings that Apple doesn't pay as a dividend, Coca-Cola and others non-dividend payers. And then you have your 38 billion in valuation. That is what Berkshire delivers to shareholders. If we go to our valuation table that you can download for free in the link in the description below, we go to Berkshire and we say 36 billion likely across recessions. 6% growth rate ahead, again, across recession growth. If you expect a 10% discount rate, we give an average historical multiple of 15 for Berkshire. The intrinsic value is 351 billion, which is half of the market capitalization now. To see what's priced in now, 8% growth and 25 multiple, that's a little bit on the exuberant side. So. Berkshire now is risky or better to say priced for a 5% yearly return down the road, a little bit less than that does great business, but not the wonderful price. And then just finally as random operating earnings are a figure that can easily be manipulated by managers who wish to do so. And then he says that manipulation or bold imaginative accounting has become one of the shames of capitalism. What we discussed here is Intel, the accounting, not fraud, it's all legal, but shenanigans that they have been doing to manipulate operating earnings. And as Warren Buffett says, one of the shames of capitalism 
these days. So if we look at our portfolio, Berkshire is a very, very small position, 10,000, it went nowhere. We don't have any profits, 1,000, 10%, but too expensive, however, a great business, and I'm putting it here to watch it. If it goes down, then of course, to increase the position. Thanks for watching. Check what I do on my stock market research platform. If you are looking for in-depth analysis, smaller caps, European stocks, and more. See you in the next video.